Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this lazy cluster stitch which is a very textured pattern and it features these cluster stitches that look like they are lying down in the middle of your fabric. This uh, stitch today will be worked in a 100% cotton yarn today. It's a worsted weight. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Line brand as well as a 5mm crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday morning with a new crochet stitch tutorial like this one. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, and our foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four plus three stitches. And so today I'm going to work a total of 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. And then into each of the next two chains. Your chain three at the beginning also counts as a double crochet stitch. So you have your three worked double crochet and your chain three which is also a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work your first uh, cluster stitch. Now this in the written pattern I've described as a foundation cluster because we're working it into our foundation chain. To work the foundation cluster you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert it from front through to back through to front again around the post of the first double crochet of the previous set of three. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that a total of three times so there's one and two around the same post yarn over pull through two and one more time around that same post. You'll have four loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over going back to your foundation chain insert your hook into that foundation chain yarn over and draw up a loop. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through all the remaining loops on your hook. That's your first foundation cluster. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. We're now going to repeat. Work one foundation cluster around the post of the first double crochet in that set of three. So around this first yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that a total of three times around that same stitch. Don't worry if you feel like you're getting a little twisted here with this first one. It does straighten out as you work it. Once you've worked your three parts of your cluster, yarn over into the next stitch on your foundation chain, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all those loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that all the way 
across, ending with one final double crochet into your final stitch. Sorry, it will be a cluster, final foundation cluster into that final stitch. At the end of row one, this is what you have. You have your cluster stitches kind of laying here across. They're not quite standing out yet, but don't worry. As we work, they will stand out more. So at the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to skip this first cluster stitch. This chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to skip that cluster stitch and work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So here's my cluster, one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, and you will arrive at your next cluster stitch. Now in that next cluster stitch, we're going to work a back post triple stitch around this cluster. So to work your back post triple, you're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook in back of your work and insert it from the back through to the front around the post of the cluster. And then you're going to kind of diagonally go up across the back of the entire cluster and out through the top. Okay, try not to hook on to that first double crochet. You just want to grab a hold of that cluster stitch. Yarn over, draw your loop, back around the post of the cluster stitch, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. That's your back post triple stitch. And what it's going to do is it's going to grab a hold of that cluster and just kind of close it off a little bit. You're then going to repeat, work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by a back post triple stitch around that cluster stitch. So bring your hook and back, insert it from back to front, kind of diagonally up across, out the other side of the cluster, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. Repeat this all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, you are simply going to work a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. So I've come all the way across. I'm going to work a double crochet into each of the final three stitches. And then one more double crochet into the top of your turning chain. You'll remember that chain does count as a stitch. You can then chain three and turn your work. Now for row three, we're going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And into our next stitch, work a cluster stitch. Now this time when we work our cluster stitch, we're still going to work around the post of that first double crochet. So yarn over, work the first part of your cluster stitch. And then to finish off the cluster stitch around the post of the next stitch. So unlike the foundation one where we just worked into the chain, we're going to do a yarn over, insert our hook from the front of our work around the post of that next stitch. So not into the top of it, around the post, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. 
Then you have your five remaining loops, yarn over and pull through all five. So that's how we're going to work our cluster stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way across, double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And I see a large knot here coming in my yarn. I'm just going to do a quick fix here. So double crochet into those next three stitches and then work your cluster stitch over the next stitch. So first work that first part around the first double crochet in that set of three. For the last little anchor bit of your cluster, yarn over, insert it around the post, coming from the front through the back, out through the front again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the five. Repeat that all the way across. Double crochet in each of the next three stitches and so forth all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of your row three, you're going to finish off your row by working an end cluster. So to work your end cluster, you've double crocheted in each of the next three stitches. Then you're going to start your cluster by working around the post of that first double crochet. And then complete the cluster stitch by yarning over and into the top of that starting chain three. So just into that third chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all five to complete your end cluster. As far as the repeat in this pattern is concerned, that is it. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain three, turn your work, and you're simply going to repeat rows two and three for the rest of the pattern for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is it. So thank you so much for joining me on how to learn, uh, how to learning how to crochet this lazy cluster stitch and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.